Scratch the surface. This is a very interesting phrase. So to scratch the surface means you only know a tiny little part of something that's very big. So for example, I just started cooking very recently. I love cooking and I've been watching all these videos. I've been reading the books, but I've only scratched the surface. I just started. I only know a little bit of the entire knowledge of cooking. One similar expression that people also use quite a bit is the tip of the iceberg. Okay, so if you've heard of an iceberg, it's this huge mountain of ice, but only this much is above water. Everything else is down here. There's a huge amount of underwater. So if you only know the tip of the iceberg, you only know a little bit of the information. There's so much more information down here that you don't know about. That's the tip of the iceberg. That's the tip of the iceberg. All right, related to that, a needle in the haystack. That's something that just, you know, popped up. Is there any difference between tip of the iceberg versus a uh, needle in the haystack? A needle in the haystack is a little bit different. It doesn't mean a little bit of information. A needle in the haystack means you're looking for something very tiny in a huge place, right? So if you're thinking, imagine a needle, it's very small, and you put it in a haystack, it looks very similar to the needle, it's really hard to find, okay? So maybe if I'm in this huge warehouse and I have to find one piece of paper, it's like looking for a needle in the haystack. How am I gonna find this one piece of paper in this huge warehouse? All right, any final word? When you guys study English, make sure you don't just scratch the surface. Make sure you look for all the information that you need to find, a lot of it which you'll find with us. Look, look, English. 자, 오늘 표현, scratch the surface 라는 표현입니다. Scratch the surface. 표면이 있어요, 땅이 있어요, 그쵸? 이거를 그냥 긁었어요, scratch 했습니다. 그러면 땅 아래에 뭐가 있는지는 우리는 모르잖아요. 그쵸? 그래서 이걸 잘 생각해 보면 우리가 어떠한 서브젝트나 어떠한 knowledge, 지식이 될 수도 있겠죠? 그거에 대해서 잘 알지도 못하는 상황 그쵸? 그럴 때 I barely know it 그거하고 비슷한 표현이죠? I just scratched the surface 이런 표현을 사용하면 거의 잘 몰라 조금 좀 아는 정도인데 잘 몰라 이런 정도의 느낌으로 보시면 되겠습니다 자 일단 비슷한 표현은요 이렇게 생각해 볼수 있을 것 같아요 Tip of the iceberg라는 표현이 나는데요. Tip of the iceberg. Tip이라는 건 끝부분을 말하는 거죠. Iceberg라는 것은 이렇게 큰 빙산을 말하는 겁니다. 그럼 생각해 보세요. 쭉 빙산을 보시면요. 위에 올라오는 팁 요거를 보고 어때요? 이 아래에 이렇게 큰게 아주 거대한 것이 숨어 있는지 우리 모르잖아요. 그래서 자, tip of the iceberg라는 거. You just know the tip of the iceberg. 이렇게 하면요. 거의 너 모르는 거야. 그것만 보고 판단하지 마. 이 정도의 느낌이 되겠네요. 아시겠죠? 자, 그리고 이것도 좀더 응용을 해보면요. 우리 그 노블, 그 미스 노블에서 보면 자 경찰이 야! 너! 이거! 이거 딱 보고 이제 판단하는 거죠. 야! 이게 얘가 범인이야. 어! 알지도 못하면서. 이 경찰은 지금 어때요? Scratch the surface 한것 뿐입니다. 단지 tip of the iceberg만 안것 뿐이에요. 그리고 나서 결론을 내리는 거죠. Well, this is a conversation we could have for hours and still not scratch the surface. Well, this is a conversation we could have for hours and still not scratch the surface. Well, this is a conversation we could have for hours and still not scratch the surface. Well, this is a conversation we could have for hours and still not scratch the surface. Well, this is a conversation we could have for hours and still not scratch the surface. I, I think we're just beginning to scratch the surface about this. I, I think we're just beginning to scratch the surface about this. I, I think we're just beginning to scratch the surface about this. I, I think we're just beginning to scratch the surface about this. I, I think we're just beginning to scratch the surface about this. 자, 이렇게 해서 우리가 오늘 scratch the surface라는 표현 살펴봤거든요, 그렇죠? 자, 영어 공부도 단순하게 그냥 겉핥기 식으로 scratch the surface 하지 마시고요. 좀 깊게 공부할 필요가 있습니다. 저희가 그거를 도와드리도록 하겠습니다. 여러분들 믿고 따라와 주시면 되겠고요. 자, 우리 그러면 다음 시간에 뵙도록 하겠습니다. See you guys next time. Take care. Bye bye.